Well, I thought we'd do some aliens because we haven't we haven't gone through that much aliens. We've done some paranormal stuff, some skinwalker stuff, ghosts and stuff. But uh, I'm intrigued about aliens. So let's should we dive into the aliens? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see if we're not the only people in this universe. Shout out to Top ten Five. scary things caught on camera. Aliens, face your fears. This video was featured on the nightly news in Ecuador. A boy is filming his father with a cell phone, focusing on the tattoo on his back. Instead, what? Okay. he captures something absolutely bizarre and terrifying. Is that a tattoo of a spaceship? Yeah. Oh, okay then. Well, I don't... In viewing the video back, a strange face inexplicably appears in the video footage. What? Some believe that the yeah, voice has now captured some interdimensional being on camera. Now, whether this footage is real or fake, interdimensional being or not, either way, it's just bizarre. Well, this appears... I'm confused. I don't quite understand His dad's when... watching porn. And he's just video room with like a Nokia 3210 phone. Yeah, that was a classic phone, that is. I don't understand and where it, uh, you know, because he, he's video on the back of his dad, his dad's back. He turns to show his, his dad's wanking. Yeah. Yeah. And so he turns to show the his face on his <laughs> camera. And then afterwards, it it goes weird. And then you see this weird face. I think he's like, the, the phone's pointing in a random direction. Like he might be talking to his dad or something. I don't know. And well, then. That yeah, well, maybe that is his dad. That's his dad's face. <laughs> just got a weird mind. Yeah, maybe it's his dad. just turns around. There's actually an alien. He's <laughs> a complete mute. Yeah. You, know, you know what I think, Will? Like, I, if this is a hoax, I give it credit because normally when they're doing a hoax or do this, they're not as imaginative to say, let's just do this random angle and have his face come in in the room. They'll be like, Let's have the alien looking through the window or something like it's a yeah, lot yeah. easier to do in the those background. Things. Yeah, yeah, in the background. But this was very like this is very close up. This is randomly in a room. None of them appeared to see it, so it seems like it's an interdimensional thing that's coming. And it's it's and it's very, it's quite creative. Like it's it's unique. I haven't. If I was hoaxing hoaxing this video, I would never would have placed it in this way and done it in that way and. Stuff. It's, it's very strange. What's your it, thoughts? It, it is random. It's like the thing, alien, let's say, is like kind of looking over the kid's shoulder to see what he's filming, which yeah. I suppose is kind of a natural thing to someone if you don't know what's going on. You kind of want to see what's going on. I suppose it's, it, it, and it, it's clearly a face. It's not like it's a weird shape. It is, it is a face. Like it's not yeah. like, yeah, we can't 100%. like, you can't dis, dismay it by saying, oh, it's something right some like random shape that makes a face this is a face very clearly and there's a shadow on the wall oh yeah there. there's a shadow I it's thought this is something that's what I mean that's what I don't get I think that's his is that his arm or a I don't know what it is I, like, I don't know let's see if we can do like a quick yeah, that's why I want to break it down because he, you see his bat it, that's it yeah so he turns the camera let me see if I can nostril. play this at like playback speed and we'll do it really slow here we go I'll just turn the music down a bit I just don't. So, is he I don't going know what back? That is. is he turning back the the camera back towards his dad? How come that means there's two cameras? Because there's oh no, he's the kids. Hang on, there's two cameras because there's one camera filming the kid, and then there's another. Uh, the kid's got a camera as well. I don't know what's going on. To be fair, I think it's just it's too. You see on the left there, that seems to me to be like a window or a post or something. There's some type of light Ooh. emitting there. It looks like an arm but, in the center, but I don't think it is. I think it's something else. But the other sounds... thing is, if it was interdimensional, I know this this is a this is a hoax. If it was interdimensional, there wouldn't be shadows being yeah. plastered on the wall. The shadows being plastered on the wall is there's something physically there. And for them to in that tiny room not to see an, an alien randomly there means that <clears throat> either the aliens got some mind control but or this is just a hoax and um you know and yeah, yeah. I, i'm calling it a hoax but i think it's creative i think it's like we haven't seen this type of what what i think 
is because it's such an old piece of technology. You know, like when you had VCRs and you just recorded over something by accident and it just flicked to the next thing? Yeah. I kind of think, I, I kind of get the impression it's that because it just flicks so hard to something so random. Like you can't, it's this scene now is not a continuation from it. It kind of does, kind of doesn't look like it's a continuation from the same video. I'll, I'll play it again just quickly and then we'll go on to the next one. I, I'm, I'm still calling it a hoax, but it's the. It goes to his face. I don't know why he's so close to the camera. And then, yeah, it just goes blurry. And I don't know what that is, like what that blur is. I don't know what the background is. I don't. Yeah, I'm going to say. There is two. There is two cameras. Yeah, because you've got to film the kids. With, yeah, you've got background. to film like... the, the, the man, <laughs> the kid filming the man wanking yeah. in the computer. And then. I... I don't know what it is. It's good, whatever it is. I'd, I'd, I'd call it fake, but it's good, whatever it is. Like yeah, it. I like that one. I like yeah. that one. It's a bit weird. Here you go. This next clip is from the short-lived 1990s television series, Paranormal Borderline with Jonathan Frakes. The host claims that this clip was sent to them anonymously and shows late-night footage from a factory security camera. There are four black and white pictures. In the top right quadrant, a worker walks right to left through a gate. He disappears here in a flash of light at 11.16 p.m. The tape continued to run normally until almost two hours later. Then the victim reappears in a second flash of light, now in a fetal position. Then moments later, now crouching, he vomits. And seconds later, staggers right to left out of frame. He's drunk. The story goes that after this incident, the man was never quite the same. Soon after, he quit his job at the factory and moved out of town. Out of left field. I mean, that's just a guy who's drunk and going through some midlife crisis. Black Forest. I, don't, I don't know what. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a bit of an. Yeah, it's a bit of enough of a video. Why does this keep starting? Yeah, I, I think it's just a guy who's drunk on camera. I don't understand why this has got anything to do with aliens. Well, the the idea is that well the. The justification is that flash of light after that it's, flash of light as a coincidence um, it's just it's just it's sick straight after that flash of light is what they're saying no i th I, th I think it's so my friend i think it's just a coincidence i think it's a coincidence he's probably he's drunk um he's going through some life crisis or he's going through some personal pain in his life and that's why he's never the same and this is the day he might have realized it or something and then you just went for a walk like this is nothing to me this is nothing okay um i weirdly enough i'm actually gonna choose to believe this because you know the hell, whole well yeah well you know that not it's not to contradict you it's just you know the whole concept of um because time time works differently in in space and stuff like that it doesn't correspond to, yeah. uh, to how, how well in speed yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 so it's not out of the realms of possibility you know when you kind of have a flash of light and then time is different to aliens compared to us it it can be that as well like just because it's a flash of light happened so quickly it's a differentiation in how we depict time and that's kind of how i choose that to is a stretch man based on this video come on it's a stretch but like <laughs> i'm choosing to believe aliens exist and they're obviously, and they're more advanced than us and they would want to experiment on us and that's probably the best way of doing it like you know, well, if truth... aliens were able to come to our planet via conventional means, which is just like this interstellar travel, then they would have to be more advanced than us. If they come through extra dimensional ways, which I think is probably more plausible, then it doesn't necessarily mean they're more advanced than us. It just means that they have a different branch of technology that we don't understand. But this video to me is like, it's nothing. There's nothing here that tells me anything. It could be anything. You could say angels or demons or whatever, and it would be the same story. Like, I don't know, man. All, all I say is coincidence. There's are the two coincidences that stuck up on each other: the flash of light, and then he's instantly sick afterwards. Yeah, he could, it, the rationale is he's he's drunk, but he's working. Like he's he's a security guard on the job. Like, I mean, he still can't be drunk. I'm not saying he can't, but. A responsible person wouldn't be okay i'm choosing to believe it it's fine like 
it is a push. I get it. So then you don't. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. All right. See you again. Out of left field. In the Black Forest area of Colorado, it is said that Russell Elliott often witnessed strange lights around his farm. He began to document these strange occurrences on video. But one night he catches something a bit more. <laughs> oh, there it is. Now, this is one of those clips that might just be a little too good, if you know what I mean. It does slightly uh, move, though. What you think down in the comments. Yeah. Batteries not included. Insane. There's definitely, I... there's definitely something physical there. But I guess I... it's just, yeah. it's, it, it's too convenient that it's yeah. so dark and... And well, it's not I, running I... away. Like, if you're an alien yeah. and you're hiding... He's clearly trying to hide, and then he sees yeah. humans. You're going to try and run away. You're not just going to stand there and stare at them. So, I don't know. I, I'm I'm calling hoax here. Yeah, again, it's too. Uh, my points echo yours. It's just too convenient. It is cool though. It's a cool video. Okay. This is one of those clips that might just be a little too good, if you know what I mean. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Even he's saying it's too good. Yeah, I think it's. Batteries not included. In St. Augustine, Florida, a man repeatedly hears strange noises in his house, so he sets up security cameras to investigate. He catches something absolutely bizarre. What <laughs> the hell is that? I don't know what it is. Is it candle or...? There's something at the top as well. I can see like a string or something at the top. It might be just the light. It's, it's the light reflection, I think. Yeah, it's light reflection. Oh, it's not. What was it then? It just disappeared. Oh, that light. It looks like a light. I thought it was like one of the candles on the table or something. But... Some weird light emitting object seems to be floating around his kitchen as if scanning the surroundings. Now, when I first saw this, I thought it could just be a mini drone or some kind of light on a string. And I thought that right up until it flies through the ceiling. This clip has been submitted yeah, that's to what I didn't the care. UFO network for professional exam. Got like a little halo. I think it is light, but I don't think it's light projecting into the into the room. Because it's um it's it's weird. I think it's something to do more with the camera and it's a fisheye lens, so there's gonna be some weird distortions going on, right? Uh, and okay. the light itself, um, it's not, it's not on the, in the room. Like it's not because light needs to hit a surface in order for us to see it, right? So it's not actually hitting the surfaces. It's actually coming off like a three D object in space rather than a, a laser point of light less on the wall going <clears> onto the floor. It's actually in three D space. But the thing is, when it goes near the table and stuff, it's not. There's no illumination going on onto the table. There's well, there no... is on the ceiling, though. So that's... Yeah, so and that's why I think there's. I think it's. It, I don't think it's actually a three D object in the room. I think it's appearing to be like a three D object in the room. Um, if this is real, I would. I would say this is a, just some weird phenomena with the light with the fisheye lens. I can't. I can't. If 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 you see on the clip, there's a moment where. Okay, here, if I was going to play it, I'm going to turn the sound off so I can talk. So here, there seems to be like a, a bar of light underneath it. You can see, can you see that bar? Can you see my mouse cursor? Yeah, I can see it. I know, I know. The bar, know. if you keep watching it, that bar kind of just keeps going. And it, it kind of goes over objects. So it's going over the sofa like it's, 
which makes me think that there's that's what I don't that's the thing that was weird to me because I actually thought it was an object but it is a light then it's a torch then, of some sort then it's going look if you see yeah, it's it going, it's, it's going, going over it's going over that it's a physical I, it, I don't know it, unless this is CGI if this is not CGI I don't I, know I man. think it could just be a weird shaped light someone just shining it in the in the in the room and it's just causing a weird reflection on on the on different surfaces but because if it's, it's a light it's, being shined if it's a light being shined from a torch or like a, a laser pen or, or a laser pen it would it can't be in 3d space it has to be on the surface so it would have to be on the table and then it would disappear and go onto the chair then it's yeah, going to be on the have... floor it's not touching the floor or the walls it's, if you, I, I, yeah, I, I can't this explain is really it. Really weird. You're, you're all right because I can't like, yeah. If it was a light, it would have refraction and stuff like that. I'd, like it would bend against surfaces. I thought it was an object, but it's clearly not an object. It's just a weird. It, all I can say is a weird talk. I, it, I, I don't. It's, it's everything it's doing phys, via the laws of physics. It's saying that it is a physical object in the room, and that it's not a light shining that's being shined on the surface, but. But it's going through objects like it is. Literally it has to now. be CGI. This has to be CGI because I, I can't. I, if it's if this was not okay. If this is not CGI, this is definitely something paranormal. If it's not, uh, if it is CGI, then yeah, obviously it's a hoax. But if it's not, then I would. I generally would say there's nothing that explains it. Nothing that we know of that explains it. It's a phenomenon. It's, it, it, I would. I would put it down to paranormal to some degree. I, I can't explain. I, I, it's not. We, we can't explain it. I'm just not convinced by it. The I'm not either. There's something that's that's often. I, I yeah, I can't yeah. complain. I can't explain it, and I don't think we we're not here to explain it. I just it just doesn't convince me for some strange reason. There's just so many weird um, things that it does, like sort of unscientific things that it does, that it just makes me feel like it's not a real object. Wait. The way it goes through the tables, the way it doesn't reflect on something. There's so much inconsistencies, the way it disappears. So many inconsistencies that it just feels like it's not a real thing. And this is from MUFON. So that's, you know, they're... I don't know who they are. They're like... Um, MUFON, I think MUFON are like a publicly funded UFO organization. Nothing that ties to governments and things like that. I think... Um, but again, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm going to say it's CGI, but I'm with the caveat that if it wasn't CGI, I this is something. This is definitely yeah. something strange. I don't think um, it's real, but I don't. I can't come up with an explanation. I just don't think it's real. Yeah. Okay. Very very bizarre. In a flash, in Brazil, there have been multiple sightings of what many locals believe to be an alien visitor. In this clip, a Brazilian news program tries to catch the creature on camera. The hell was that? Some say that this clip is evidence of alien teleportation, as the creature seems to disappear in a flash of light. Well, there's no alien there. What do you think? That bloke just looks like he's pretending to be a news presenter. Like he's just got a, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's he's just got a suit, suit on his yeah. dad's suit. <laughs> <laughs> it just it doesn't look, it just looks like such a weird hoax. Like he, the he's, suit doesn't even fit him properly. It's just like it's just got like a, a dinner suit. <laughs> like he's just found. He's just his dad. This this guy. <laughs> yeah, like I need to look like a news presenter. It's just like oh okay. Then. Well, I. I, don't, I can't see any aliens or creatures here. I just see light reflecting through the trees. Could have been a torch or a drone that's just fallen down. It seems to accelerate to the floor. Um, well, they're trying, to say it's they're trying to say it's teleportation. So but I think that they're jumping to a conclusion with no reason. Like I could say it seems to be, you know, <laughs> time travel or something. Yeah. Like, it, there's no explanation to why yeah, they're saying yeah, yeah. I think they're just jumping. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think this is a natural Which... phenomena. I think it's light um, that's just falling from a tree. Um, it, it, well, I don't know. Why, I don't know why the light is there. It doesn't make any sense. It's too obscure for me to. But at the same time, it's too natural in 
uh, a human environment for me to kind of question it being paranormal. Like, it kind of, I'm not saying it makes sense, but there are elements in that that kind of seem natural. I don't really know how to explain it, but it just doesn't, it, it doesn't seem peculiar. Yeah. It's confusing, but I think some people will say confusing equals paranormal. For for me, it's like confusing means, well, logically, there's nothing paranormal that I can see. Everything here can happen in real life without any paranormal to exist in. So that's where I say, okay, that's the most likely likely probable thing that's happening. Now, can I explain it? No, I'm assuming it's either, it doesn't look like fire, like a fire thing, like a, a fire that's fallen or something. It looks like a electrical light source like a light bulb that's shining in the tree i think in a drone that's ro- remote controlled and it's like in the tree and then it's moved and then it falls down and the light on it that's what i think it could just be another beam of light from a, behind them or another direction it, it can be anything i i just again i'm not convinced by this one as much it just it just doesn't seem as plausible it just seems like there's a plausible i don't know i don't know what the rationale is, but it just seems like there is a, a plausible yeah, way of thinking. That this clip is evidence of alien teleportation. It does look like LED There's lights in fairness. And there is a light flare. flare. Yeah. There is a light flare yeah. at the very beginning, which think? means that it's a light shining. Swamp gas. gas. Workers at a gas station in Peru are working late at night when they spot something bizarre. It's just a little man that we're looking at. I don't. The workers see a small illuminated figure, no more than three feet tall. They approach it, but it seems to speed up to avoid them. They say that the thing had several legs, but seemed to float slightly above the ground. Isn't that a drone? It does look like a drone, like just the way it moves. But then it was on the floor. The bizarre alien yeah, it's just floating up. Whatever that is, just seemed to disappear into thin air as mysteriously as it had appeared. The case is currently being investigated by the Peru Association of UFOlogy. I, I'm I'm calling drone. I think it's a prank. Yeah. I don't think it's a hoax. I think it's a prank. Someone's pranking them, uh, and it's a drone. It's Might a hundred. Be, like, I, I'm convinced it's a drone. To, yeah. yeah, I think it's costumed up to just, look like a. Just idiot. because they say it's got, they said it's got four legs, which drones have four arms to yeah. fly. It just seems like it is a drone, and drones can take because you, obviously you can operate them remotely, and they could just take off from, like, yeah, low down it, and it it moves like it was a drone as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm calling a drone. I don't think it's supernatural. And it just disappears because you just switch the lights off. Okay. So it's yeah. dark. <laughs> it's like, oh, great. Men in Black. Men in Black. Oh, this is Shane the one that we Sovar, yeah. manager of a Niagara Falls hotel, reported that he spotted a strange triangular UFO in the sky above the hotel. Always triangle. A few days later, while Shane was out, his hotel received two strange visitors. One of my dolmen approached me and he oh, kind of had this. a weird look on his face and he said to me, there's a couple guys in here looking for you. And I said, He's well, the man in black. <laughs> yeah, this is said, a famous a piece of really footage, this one. strange looking men that were here. And they kind of freaked everybody out and they were asking questions about you. They were really, really tall. He said, and they were identical height. They were the exact same height. They were wearing the exact same clothes and they had the exact same This is a famous one, this one. Faces, was like it? Uh, fair. Yeah. Now three people witnessed the men's arrival and their strange physical appearance. Were these the mysterious men in black who are said to appear after UFO close encounters? Well, no one will ever know because the only evidence that remains is this creepy CCTV footage. So just, Tree just a bit of background with men in black stuff. Um, they're always said to be like they come in men in black they're not like the men in black movie they always seem yeah. to be like really pale like as if they're they're not actually human 
they're like trying to pretend to be human. They're just very awkward and weird. They're very pale. They they, they never really have facial uh, hair, like eyebrows or hair, and they've got these hats on. Um, that's what a lot of the reports uh, suggest of men in black, and I think that's what they're alluding to. And this is like they they fit that mold as well. But this is like a famous piece of footage. Um, so so yeah. they are not actually humans. They're aliens disguised as humans. Mm -hmm tending to blend in the situation is that what you're trying to that's to? what some people think some people say they could be like artificial like humans and they're just like even the way they talk is very weird like they have no emotions and they're just like robotic um no. but they're not human obviously that's that's what that's what the men in black i think mythos is is yeah. saying like who are these people and there's been they, reports. They, they possibly do work for governments or, or they might work for something else, but it's, yeah, very and, secretive. And there have been reports of these, this is the only footage I'm assuming, but there's been reports of these men in black appearing all the time. That's good yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah. A, a lot of reports, they follow the same thing. There's another, I think there's two famous footage. I think this is one of them. There's another one where you see them actually talking to a, someone behind the counter. Um, Okay, uh, it might I, even I, be the same footage here that they just haven't shown, but I don't know. But I, I don't know. With the Men in Black, it's like I believe there are people in suits that come and they're very mysterious and they obviously work for some type of agency that we don't know and they ask some questions about things. I do believe that to be true. Um, whether they're aliens or not, again, I need more evidence. So, but this is, I think, this is a true thing. I don't think this is untrue or a hoax or prank or anything. But uh, I don't know. Yeah, I. I agree. It could be true. I just don't think it's as mysterious as people are making it out to be. I, I think, yeah, they're probably okay. some dudes working for the government, but they're not aliens in disguise. That's Darren it's... and Steve. Well, yeah, yeah. Right, Steve. <laughs> I'm all right, yeah. They're pretending to be robots. <laughs> and interrogate someone. <laughs> Imagine if they actually walked in actually doing the robot. Like, <laughs> 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 that would be the worst undercover um, it's bad. um all right yeah. I, I think yeah that one's a bit of a, sh a strange one but um i think it's real that like, what's happened but i don't know what yeah. the explanation is I and mean, you've got more time to mull it over i don't i don't know this next clip a man hears what he thinks are strange animal noises outside his house despite his wife's protests he goes to investigate probably the and spoiler it's not an animal I ain't doing that at night. What, they're just investigating? I'm not doing that at night. I think it's a garden. Hello. Uh, oh, I saw, yeah, I saw that. So is this an alien, a creature, oh. or just a very skinny guy in a mask? You skinny decide. guy in a mask. You know why? Because if you're investigating something, why are you staring at a, um, a gap in between a tree? You would just go around the tree or you'll be looking around. Like, unless he knows there's something behind the tree, you're not going to just film the tree. Like, if you're in your garden and you hear noises, you're going to yeah. be looking everywhere, like left, right, up, down, like trying to figure out where the animal. He's looking at human level and he's looking at a tree for an extended period of time as if he knows something is behind the tree and it's going to pop out. Um, I think this is a hoax. I, yeah, I agree. <laughs> there's nothing more to be uh, said. I mean, there's not. Yeah, yeah, you are right. It's just like it, it's it's dead in the middle. <laughs> you are there. It's like if you're investigating, you wouldn't investigate an object that you can already see. You investigate objects that you can't see. That's the whole yeah. point. So yeah, okay. I think we're on the last one now. Close encounters. Close encounters. Let's see if this one's good. Over on the YouTube channel Operation Z Project CXV. A guy named Ken claims that he captured some otherworldly being walking behind him, even though he didn't notice anything at the time. The footage was caught on a motion-activated trail camera. It's a cat, mate. It's not an alien. Maybe never seen a cat before. Uh, well, that's him. Oh, sorry. That's him. Something behind him, then. A closer look reveals that there is indeed someone or something walking behind him. But whether it's an alien or not, I'll leave that for you to decide. Looks like a kid. In this next clip, he claims like a... that an alien has cloaked itself in some kind of invisibility field and then peeks out as his cat passes it's by. It's a cat again, mate. It's a cat. It's a cat. It's a cat.
King claims his videos are 100% legit proof of alien life. But what do you think? I don't know about I, that. I think the Thanks first for one watching. is... Suggest videos at nukes.5 at gmail.com. I think... Okay. And I, I might be wrong. I think this is just artifacting. Uh, I think it's just an artifact. Um... What the first one I, isn't though. The first one is something. The first though. one I think is a hoax. I think for for yeah. YouTube clout. And the reason why I think it's a hoax is why why are these weird camera angles, and why is he just standing there? Like I don't understand what's going on here. It seems like it's all set up and staged, and it's perfectly in between. You can see him perfectly. Like if you're trying to capture something, it's just a weird angle for a camera to be on the ground looking up through these like bushes and. You would normally get a camera from high up to look down to observe a landscape to see what you can see. This is like very act, very purposely pinpointed in a very particular area. And that doesn't make sense if you're trying to observe what's going on. Like a security camera, you wouldn't have a camera placed here. You would have it up high looking around so you can see as much field of view as possible without any disruptions. So this all seems purposely done. I think this is a I think the second bit is just an artifact well, the, or both, ca both cameras artifact. are low down so i i always think because we are seeing all of these videos from a, a weird point of view and like from a snippet my assumption and like i'm jumping it i'm grasping at straws here but he again similar to the ghost stuff he notices things happening low down so he he purposely puts them low down because yeah you are right why would you put them or the cameras at such a small area of view yeah so he obviously knows that something is happening below him i suppose and he's not it's it's not like he just caught this it's not like a boomerang where he's just caught a, a five second video it's like he's this is like a, on a a long this this video has been a long time and he's just caught this one weird event that he can't explain but i i kind of think it's just a a friend at walking behind but, him like it's I, yeah i think yeah i think I, th I generally think this is staged like why would it's too it's too convenient that there's two bushes either side of him and they come out of one bush and they go to the other bush it's like if this bush on the right here on the right of the screen if that bush wasn't there yeah. what would we see i don't think this... yeah so <laughs> i think i i i think this is a i'm 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 very very adamant that this is a hoax I don't think it's. I just think it's just his friend walking behind it. It looks like a human figure anyway. Whatever, like it, and it looks well, let, like they're wearing clothes as well. Like it, it doesn't. Let's doesn't see if I can seem, pause it. It doesn't seem weird. It doesn't seem. I wouldn't question it because there's a. It just looks like a human figure. It looks like his girlfriend, to be honest, like for a partner. Very small. Let's see. Yeah, it's very small. That's like up to his nipples, his chest. It's very, very small. Nah, it's not. It's, it, is, it is in the background. You're forgetting it's behind him. I, I don't think it's small. I think it's about human height, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, you see that height? Yeah, no, it is human height, but it's, it's from a down, distance. Like, no, it's from a distance, though. Like he's standing, for, he's standing closer towards the camera. I, okay. I, All right, well, we're, I, we're in disagreement. I think this is a hoax. I think it's just a friend just walking in the background. <laughs> it's not a hoax. It's just misconstrued. And the, because uh, if it was a friend, he would have he would have shown his friend, oh, look at this clip. And his friend would have been, oh, no, no, that was me. I was walking there. I walked behind you. But he he's pretending like he can't hear anything as well. So I just think none of this makes sense. Why would an alien just walk behind you like that, like looking in one direction? Like If the alien is hiding, they won't walk so close to you and be so obvious. I would think they would just be watching you. Like if we were the aliens and we we're in an alien planet, we see these aliens. Well, we're not going to just walk past an alien like this. Like we would. Slap him on the bum. Hey, stop! It's a wolf whistling. Hey, Jacob, come out for the yeah, lads. You're here to for the lads. Yeah, I don't think any of that would happen. I think it's just, it's just a hoax. So what do you think about this video in general before we close up? Like is, all of the videos, which is the one that stands out to you the most? Uh, the light one is weird enough. The first one, the little boy, that's just a, I, I like that one. It, I like it's weird. And the light one, the one that I'm, I kind of go, I'm not as 
I'm not as bothered about ghosts, so I kind of default to what scares me the most, and I think the first one scares me the most, so I, I kind of like that one. I think the first one was the most creative hoax. I think the light one is just the one that I can't, I don't know. I just... the, the thing is with light, in general, it's so hard to explain because it just reacts so differently. I was watching so many thing. variables, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. refraction, like, yeah. Uh, humidity in the air, there's yeah. so many variables yeah. that are just, you know, that's why it just, it's hard for me to kind of be convinced by these kind of things because it's not, it, it's it's really unexplainable. Like it's just yeah. weird goings on in light. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, I if there was a, a real one, I would say it's the light one. Everything else, I could I think is hoax, a prank, or just uh, unexplained phenomena. That's what I think. Um, Fair but enough. guys, let us know in the comments below. Will's a little bit more less skeptical today. I was the I was the believer last week. I was more of the believer last week, and I think this week you're you're more of the believer. But let us know in the comments below what do you think about these ones. If there's any videos that you want us to react to and dissect and give us some, your our opinions on them, let us know in the comments below. Um, and with that, I've been Alex. I'll be well. I'll wear out. Peace.